Okay, now here's the roof that uh, doesn't appear to be uh, installed correctly. You can see the courses are are uh, gauged a little high here. Looks like about three eighths high, give or take. Now what what else we have going here is you can see the gap there across the top. That whole section of shingle has slipped down. And the reason it has slipped down is because they nailed it, they nailed it off too high. Uh, again, up here you can see these shingles are, you can tell just by looking at the pattern that the shingles have slipped right down out of position. Uh, the nail line, again, they nailed it too high and the, the staples pull through the shingles and uh, the whole section will slide down. Here's another one. It's, it's kind of rampant throughout the roof here. Let me see if I can find where the staples were. You can see the staples still fastened uh, right here. Here's one here, it's kind of high. But right on the shingle here, it's way up back on the, on the back side of the shingle up here. The staple should be right down here across the uh, nail line. Uh, people that put their own roofs on don't realize things like that and this is what can happen. You can just see the whole area sliding down here. Um, you can just see the mismatching of the shingles. That's where it's slipping down throughout the roof. Get a little closer here, closer view. See down here they're sliding down. Up there you can see all the little black, little black swaths. That's uh, delamination from, from uh, the nail line where the nail should have been. So this roof is not certifiable. I'm going to tell them we can try to repair it. However, you know that they're going to have issues probably in the future. It's going to be a continuing maintenance situation as this stuff uh, uh, occurs and uh, that um, there, we can't certify the roof. We can only repair it.